Hansen. Judy. It's Harmony. Here to babysit. You know, the job you hired me for? Next to you anyway. What if I told you I've been talking to Eggy? I would say to be careful, but you know, you do you. Eggy and I are just friends. We're not gonna start dating again. You don't smile that way at most of your texts. Just saying, now that I met Ernie, I know what a good guy really looks like. Hey, Isabella. Hey, yourself. How about lunch tomorrow? I'd love to. Anyway, I gotta get to dance class now. Great, see you then. I hear congratulations are in order. What do you mean? Word is you'll be joining us at Crown Lake next year. How do you know? Your mom talks a lot. Listen, I haven't told my friends yet, so if you could not mention this to Belle, that would be great. You know, we keep secrets at Crown Lake. That's what I wanted to tell you. See, the school has this tradition called the Rite of Summer, where we all come together and pay homage to the goddess Athena, ask for wisdom and good grades for the upcoming year. Sounds like a ploy to haze new students. <laughs> It'll be fun if you just go along with it. So, if you're in, meet us at the South Garden at noon. Look, Leila, that one has a sunroof. Yeah, that's nice. But that one? Could you imagine your mom in a convertible? Mm. Leila, you can't put your phone down for a few minutes? Mom, it's my only day off this week, and you're dragging me to go car shopping. Because it was the only way we could spend time together. I'm so proud of you for getting a job, but I barely see you. And anytime I ask you how you are, all you say is, I'm good, or things are fine. So please, would you at least humor me and look at some cars? That one's nice. It would be cool to have a red car. It would, wouldn't it? Okay, what is this game about? We have an opportunity for you. A really good one. How would you like to be in a movie? Right now? Seems like a lot of work. Come on, what else you got going on today? Unfortunately, nothing. What's it about? All right, it's about a brother and a sister. One's gotta move across the country to pursue their dream, and the other one gets left behind. That seems strangely familiar. If you say yes, I'll take you and buy you ice cream. And there's a fun chase scene. Okay, fine, I'm in. Alice Athena, we honor you with favored gifts and ask that you hear our prayers. O oh, gray-eyed goddess, grant us with wisdom for the coming year, good judgment and better grades. Now, it's time for the sacrifice. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? Uh, um, sure. 
Just say a few words. We thank you, bright-eyed Athena, for your patronage. Enjoy this rubber bird. Oh. You all are insane! <laughs> you mean that in the best way, right? I do. <laughs> Well, Maggie, I think it's about time I hit the road. Good luck, Paxton. Keep your chin up on the track. Don't be like that, sis. I don't want to leave on bad terms. You qualified. I didn't. You deserve it. You know racing in the Indy 500 was all I ever wanted. I just hate that you won't be there. Well, that's what happens when you get in the big league. Get used to it. Paxton, I'll miss you. You too, sis. See you at the finish line. Nice job, you guys. Let's do it one more time and maybe see if you guys can put in a y'all. I'll tell you what, you're making an excellent choice. This is a fun car, but it's also practical. So when this young lady's ready to drive, you know she'll be safe. Oh, God. I don't want to think about Layla driving. <laughs> <laughs> My son is around her age. I am dreading the day he's old enough to get behind the wheel. Oh, even though you work in a dealership? <laughs> Worse, I own the dealership. But he's a good kid, and frankly, this is the car I choose to. Well, I'm happy with my skateboard. <laughs> you know, my son would be impressed. He tried skateboarding a few times, never got the hang of it. It's hard at first, but once it clicks, it feels like flying. <laughs> you know, perhaps I can introduce you two and you can show him sometime. Sure. I'd be happy to have my son go on a date with a nice girl like you. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not sure which one is scarier, the idea of them driving or dating, but I'm sure Layla would love to. Well, I'll give you a moment. Take your time. Hi, welcome back. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Just looking. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh my goodness. Look. He gave us a good kid discount. How sweet is that? Very sweet. Did you see the picture on his desk? His son is cute. Or is he not your type? You never talk to me about these things, and I wish you would. Well, I wasn't really planning on telling you this in a car dealership. But I don't really like boys. Oh, I was a late bloomer too. Really. It wasn't until I met your father. No, Mom, I mean... I like girls. Oh. Oh. Um. You know, girls are nicer anyway. And I'd much rather have a daughter-in-law than a son-in-law. Well, I'm not sure about that. And you're thinking way too far ahead. But thank you. My heart, I just want you to be happy. Now, is there someone special? Really? It wasn't this enough confiding for one day? I will never be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's this one girl, but she has some stuff to figure out. Boys or girls, it doesn't matter. But don't let anyone give you less than what you deserve. You're so kind, Layla. You deserve kindness in return. <laughs> Love you. Chocolate for my cuz, and one butter pecan for Harmony. Thanks for helping me today. You two were great. It was fun. Just don't forget about me when you're casting your first big Hollywood movie. <laughs> Speaking of Hollywood, PK here says you're headed to LA. Depends on how much I can babysit. Hopefully the Hansons don't keep on canceling on me. The Hansons? Like, tomorrow? Yeah. Why? Long story. 
What about its long? She played me to get free ice cream, and according to Katie, she has a history of stealing. She told me she shoplifts, but it's only small stuff. If you ask me, that girl's trouble. I told you I don't need your help. Just doing my job, keeping an eye on the inventory. For the last time, I didn't take the sweater. Oh, really? Because that day we were one sweater short. You know what? I don't need this. The clothes here are boring anyway. Then stop taking them. You're hanging out with Ernie again? That's huge, Belle. Wait, something's weird with my safe. Like, it's completely empty. Someone stole all the money. Next week on Chicken Girls. It doesn't make sense for it to be gone. Someone must have taken it. How am I supposed to get to LA? I have something important to talk about. Michelle, please don't be mad. Michelle. What is with you? Did I do something? I earned that money fair and square, and then you took it. Let's get started. We have a lot of work to do. Couch it. Kaden, Kaden. I got a one shot. Yeah. yeah. You think Tyler was still like me if he knew the real me? Hey, look at me. I'd never leave you behind. I know.